this has been uh, a wonderful morning already, getting to meet so many members of, uh, of the community, being able to celebrate uh, 50 years plus of Ismaili strength in Canada. Uh, it is a, a wonderful, wonderful occasion to celebrate and reflect. Uh, and I reflect a lot on a couple of things uh, my father pointed out to me many, many years ago. First of all, those from the community who've heard me speak with them before have probably heard me uh, try to turn around uh, the thanks that you have for my father because uh, there is uh, a recognition that my father was uh, able with, uh, with his friend, my Uncle Kay, uh, to bring uh, the community uh, here in large numbers to Canada. Uh, and there is a gratefulness there, and I, I recognize it. But it is much more true that my father and I and Canada owe you a debt of gratitude, not just for everything you have contributed to this country, but for being a shining example of what uh, welcoming people who are fleeing violence, persecution, fear can do. When we welcome in refugees, we're not only giving them opportunities, we are enriching our country so deeply and everything this community has done for Canada has reinforced that and has kept all Canadians positive towards immigration, which is a real value in this difficult, uh, difficult time around the world. But the second reflection, the second thing the Ismaili community has taught me, and I remember my father pointing this out to me when I was young and seeing this community, I was probably you know, 10, 12 years old, uh, asking him about these wonderful people who kept coming up and saying thank you and were uh, business leaders and community leaders from across the country. And uh, he, he told me that the strength of this community is that it understands that it's not an either or choice between supporting all members of the community, making sure everyone has an opportunity to succeed, being incredibly socially minded, community minded, incredibly generous, incredibly there to help each other in the community and beyond, and extraordinarily financially successful as business peoples in terms of contributing to the economy, in terms of growing the economy. This community was the one that taught me that at the core of everything, you don't have to choose between growing the economy and caring for each other. Indeed, that is the best way to create a strong and vibrant community and a strong and vibrant Canada. And I'm so pleased to be able to go through the display. I encourage all of you to do that, to celebrate the 50 years of, Ismaili, of the Ismaili community being in Canada in very large numbers. And there is no doubt that Ismaili influence has left Canada and Alberta immeasurably better off. This year's Stampede Breakfast is more proof. Your generosity knows no bounds. It's not limited by faith or culture or color. And it's marked Alberta deeply, from the Aga Khan Garden to your endless, quiet, individual acts of care. Every day you change lives by volunteering, improving education, and practicing social responsibility. And you define the Ismaili community as one that believes in the dignity of all peoples. I appreciate your compassion in reaching out to newcomers. Just as your community has crossed the world to find safety, others are doing the same thing. And when they get off the plane, you're ready to help. Fairness for newcomers, acceptance, respect, and opportunity. These are the vital characteristics of a free society. Alberta must be a place where newcomers can come and find a sense of belonging and where barriers to this, their success are removed. Thank you so much for the kindness that you share so generously with the rest of us. Being born in Africa, I'd like to share with you a little proverb that is saying Africa. If you want to go fast, go alone. But if you want to go far, go together. And I strongly feel that we are the province and country that we are because of going together. And volunteers are the backbone of so many of our societies. And it is because of them that we 
rise up to challenges, whether it's the floods, whether it's forest fires, whether it's Lake Megantic, it is volunteers who step up every single day. And they do it not for personal gain, they do it because they want to make life better. The Stampede is about community spirit and bringing people together. And that's what I see here today, both with this event and how you support your people and create a community. So I think we have that in common. You've heard it before. This, is, um, this isn't just uh, near the top of our list at the Stampede. This is at the top of our list. We do not miss this one. We wouldn't miss this one. So we're grateful to be included. Thank you for having me. Yali Madad, brothers and sisters. Assalamu alaikum. Oki. Hello and bonjour. At the Center for Newcomers, we're so grateful to have this opportunity to partner with the Ismaili Muslim community. And as we do so, we are really grateful for all of the community spirit, for everything that you do. The Center for Newcomers is the largest settlement agency in Alberta. We work with all immigrants, and we know as we welcome more newcomers, and we know as the first settlers first arrived, there was a displacement of our Indigenous people. And the truth and reconciliation of that is so important for us to acknowledge. As we acknowledge all of us coming here, my parents as well, and everyone else that has been here that is non-Indigenous, it's really important for us that we also acknowledge that and that we work with our Indigenous brothers and sisters towards real reconciliation. Thank you so much. On behalf of my City Council colleagues, I would like to say, Ya Ali Madad. And I have to say, this 50th anniversary of Ismaili Muslims in Canada, I share this anniversary with you. I came here 50 years ago as well. And I think the interesting thing is that we have had many successes, many victories, many moments to come together as community, but I think you will all agree there were also struggles. There were times that we felt perhaps we didn't belong, and there were times that we felt when will the community grow and be big enough and strong enough that we all feel like we are part of this nation. And I go back to the prayer that we heard and the words that said, there's an olive tree that was neither of the east or of the west. And I know that sometimes we feel like that because we have a home nation, we have home traditions, but we are now in this place and this is our home and we have managed to make it a place that is inclusive and welcoming not only of us, but of anyone who chooses to live here. And when Prince Hussein Aga Khan came to Calgary and did an exhibit at the Glenbow Museum called The Living Sea, it was absolutely a privilege to be toured through this exhibit with him and to hear from him why he is so passionate about the sea and why he is so compassionate towards all the creatures under the sea. And it's a very telling way to understand the character of this man. He talked about how we all must live together, how we all must protect each other, care for each other, and frankly, understand each other. And I think that's a lesson we can all take away. Your leaders in your community and each and every one of you that are committed to making Calgary a great place, understand that it only happens when we all work together and exercise compassion. Thank you for doing that every day. Thank you for being such a big part of this city. And with that, let me say, the Ismaili Stampede Breakfast is officially open. Yeah.